एवरीवन माय नेम इज प्रकाश मेठानी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू यूज योर बूटस्ट्रैप फाइल इन विजुअल स्टूडियो 2015 और asp.net फाइल सो हियर वी गो सो व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज आई विल क्रिएट अ एम्प्टी प्रोजेक्ट इन asp.net फाइल एंड आई विल इंपोर्ट माय बूटस्ट्रैप फाइल ओवर देयर एंड आई विल क्रिएट अ सिंपल नेविगेशंस बाय यूजिंग बूटस्ट्रैप सो हियर वी गो सो जस्ट ओपन योर विजुअल स्टूडियो 2015 और व्हिच एवर वर्जन यू हैव एंड क्लिक ऑन फाइल मेन्यू गो टू द न्यू create either project or a website so i'll create a website over here and in this section you can see there there is a visual c sharp or a visual basic option these are the programming language used by visual studio so i'm going to choose visual c sharp and i'm going to click on asp.net empty website over here and in the file system you can choose the location where you have to store your solution you can browse from here i'm going to store it in a d drive so i'll just click on open the section and i'll just change the name of my solution here let's bootstrap 2017 so i'm going to just click okay so here is our solution is created and we can see it here in a solution explorer there is a bootstrap 2017 solution is created over here and there is a package.config file and web.config file by default over there so <coughs> now i'm going to import my bootstrap file over here so there are two options to import my bootstrap file here so one is uh, from you know going to bootstrap.com <coughs> and go to the download bootstrap and click on download bootstrap here so my bootstrap file is getting downloaded here and from there i'm going to extract all here so here is my bootstrap file i'm just going to copy all the file and go to my solution over here and right click on your solution and go to the paste there is our css fonts and js file already there so this is the one way to import bootstrap in visual studio 2015 and the another way is to go to the solution and <coughs> go to your manage and you get package for solution there you can see that go to the browser section and just type bootstrap there click enter there you can see that different version of bootstrap is coming over there it's a bootstrap 4.0 here and the other version are also there bootstrap 3.6 so whichever version you want to install just click on that click on that and install it when you click on install all the file will come down the same way as it's coming here so this is what exactly how we install by two way so i've already installed by other way so i'll just create a new just go to your app section over here and add a new web form keep the name whatever you want to put so in in my case it's by default default so here's our default or the spx page is already there So now what I'm going to do in the title section I'm going to reference my bootstrap.min.css here so what you can do is directly just drag it and drop underneath the title section so you'll see that the link is over here and now I'm going to create a simple bootstrap <coughs> navigation so I have a bootstrap nav code already here with me so what I'm going to just paste this code there and press control s for save and now i'm going to debug the file and to run this file i'll just press f5 in my system and it will take you automatically to the browser and just see there it's happening over here so i hope it's start working right right it's my bootstrap navigation is coming over here and you can see that when i this model screen is coming like that but right now it's not <coughs> collapse in navigation because i haven't put its the jquery file over in my solutions so <coughs> just 
stop debugging just press shift f5 you will return back to your project i will go to the gs file there is a no <coughs> jquery references here so i'm gonna take my jquery reference over here so i have already my jquery references with me i'm just gonna copy it i'm just gonna paste under the js section it's already there and i'll include it into my project to the link right and then now i'm gonna press f5 again so let's see that how it goes on so now when i <coughs> string it so still not working man i have to check what exactly the problem is coming over here all right i haven't included my bootstrap dot min dot jss over here so i'll just drag my bootstrap dot min dot js in my project and press f5 again i hope it will start working now so it's working fine so this is how uh, we include our bootstrap to visual studio and uh, you can start working with that if you have a knowledge of bootstrap if you don't have the knowledge of bootstrap then just start learning the bootstrap and it's very fine and amazing to start working with bootstrap and now all the file you have and just write the code here in your default.asp and start working with bootstrap <coughs> so thank you very much that's all from my end